Mars has been the subject of fascination and scientific exploration for decades. Technological advances have allowed us to see Mars in stunning detail in recent years thanks to high-resolution cameras and video equipment. One of the most impressive examples is a collection of high-resolution images of Mars captured by various space agencies and compiled into a single cohesive package. These stunning images of the Red Planet provide a level of detail and clarity that was once unimaginable, allowing us to see Mars in ways that were once impossible. They provide a level of detail on the planet's surface. Craters, mountains, valleys and other features are all clearly visible, allowing scientists to study them in greater detail. In addition, they give us stunning views of the planet's atmosphere, with swirling dust storms and wispy clouds visible in incredible detail. These high-resolution images can also inspire a new generation of scientists and engineers, showing them the tremendous potential of space exploration and the beauty of our solar system. Stay tuned to the end to discover the wonders of the Red Planets in stunning detail. Over the past two decades, NASA has sent three rovers to Mars to explore the Red Planets and conduct scientific research. These rovers, named Spirit, Opportunity and Curiosity, have captured thousands of digital images of the Martian landscape. Like previous space photography initiatives, most of these images are accessible to the general public, allowing for the creation of impressive videos. Spirit and Opportunity were launched in 2003 and landed on Mars in January 2004. These rovers were designed to explore different areas of the planet and search for signs of water and potential habitats for life. Spirit was tasked with researching the Gusev crater, while Opportunity explored the Meridiani Planum region. Both rovers were equipped with cameras that captured high-resolution digital images of the Martian surface. These images revealed the details of the terrain, including rocks, craters and sand dunes, providing scientists with valuable information about the planet's geological history. In 2012, NASA launched the Curiosity rover, which landed in Gale Crater on Mars. Curiosity was designed to explore the Martian surface in greater detail and search for signs of microbial life. It also had a powerful camera system that captured high-resolution images of the Martian landscape, allowing scientists to study the rocks and other geological formations in unprecedented detail. The cameras on all three rovers captured black and white and color images, with some capturing 3D images of the Martian terrain. They also captured images of the Martian sky, including sunsets and sunrises, giving us a glimpse of what it might be like to stand on the surface of Mars. These images have been used to create detailed maps of the Martian surface and help scientists plan future missions to Mars. Of course, capturing images and videos of Mars in such high resolution is a challenging feat. It requires cutting-edge technology, sophisticated cameras and skilled operators to capture the best possible images. In addition, the pictures and videos must be transmitted back to Earth, which can take days or weeks, depending on the distance between Mars and Earth. These were the first high-resolution ones to ever include Mars imagery. Although the cameras on these rovers were of exceptionally high quality, the major problem was the speed at which they could transmit data back to Earth. For instance, Curiosity could only transmit data to Earth at a slow speed of 32 kilobits per second. However, the rover may attain a far more favorable speed of 2 megabits per second when it can link to the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. Additionally, the window of communication between the rover and the orbiter is just 8 minutes every Mars day, which makes file transfers agonizingly slow. For this reason, delivering HD video at these rates is time-consuming, so it makes more sense to shoot and transmit back pictures. NASA's Curiosity Mars rover has been moving through a zone that connects a clay-rich area to one rich in the saline mineral sulfate. Gale Crater is a significant impact crater on Mars that has garnered a lot of attention from scientists and space enthusiasts alike, 
due to the discoveries made by NASA's Curiosity rover, which has been exploring the region since its arrival in August 2012. One of the most exciting discoveries made by the Curiosity rover in Gale Crater is evidence that the area was once covered in water. At one time, lakes and streams rippled throughout Gale Crater, depositing material at the base of Mount Sharp, a peak that rises to the height of 3 miles or 5 kilometers and whose foothills Curiosity has been climbing since 2014. Curiosity's observations in the transition zone higher up the mountain reveal that the streams reduced to trickles and sand dunes developed over the lake deposits. This transition zone might serve as a record of significant change in the climate of Mars that occurred billions of years ago. Still, scientists are just now starting to understand. Curiosity rover also explored Yellowknife in 2013, a location in Gale Crater with a large impact basin on the planet's surface. During its exploration of Yellowknife Bay, the Curiosity rover used its cameras and instruments to study the geology and chemistry of the area. The rover found that the site was composed primarily of fine-grained sedimentary rocks which had been deposited in ancient lake beds. The discovery made the past habitable conditions on Mars evident. The rover observed several features that suggested the presence of water, including rocks that had been altered by water and minerals that are commonly associated with water. Curiosity also discovered several organic compounds in the rocks of Yellowknife Bay, including methane and carbon-based molecules. The sulfate-bearing unit is a geological formation on Mars. According to findings by Curiosity, the unit is composed of rocks that contain high levels of sulfate, which are mineral salts that can form in the presence of water. The rover found evidence that the unit was created during a geological activity that involved water cycling between the surface and subsurface of Mars. The presence of sulfate materials in the rocks suggests that the water that once existed on Mars may have been acidic and may have played a role in shaping the landscape through processes like erosion and weathering. The Curiosity rover's exploration of the sulfate-bearing unit provided essential insights into the geological history of Mars, particularly the role of water in shaping the planet's surface. In December 2015, NASA's Curiosity rover began to explore the Namid Dune, a large sand dune in the Bagnold Dunes field in Gale Crater. The dune is approximately 5 meters tall and 40 meters wide, giving a unique opportunity for the rover to study the movement of sand on the Martian surface. For several weeks, the rover took images of the dune. It used its instruments to analyze the composition and structure of the sand. They discovered that the dune is made of sand with coarser grains than those found in the surrounding areas, suggesting they were transported from a different location. Another location Curiosity explored is the Glen Torridon, located in the Gale Crater. These cameras and instruments were used to study the geology and chemistry of the area. The rover found that the area comprised various rock types, including clay minerals and sedimentary rocks. The rover observed several features that suggested the presence of water, including clay minerals that are commonly formed in the presence of water and a rock formation that appeared to have been shaped by flowing water. Curiosity also detected high methane levels in the air, meaning that it could be a sign of microbial life on the planet. The Meridiana Planum is a Mars plane explored by NASA's Opportunity rover from 2004 to 2018. Opportunity found several features that suggested the presence of water in the past. These included sedimentary rocks formed in the presence of water, as well as mineral deposits typically associated with the presence of water. It also discovered a type of rock called blueberries. These small spherical rocks are made of a mineral called hematite which is often formed in the presence of water. This goes to show that water once existed on Mars. Opportunity also studied the planet's weather and atmosphere, and it was able to provide essential data on dust storms and other weather phenomena on Mars. 
In 2010, a crater located on the Meridiani Planum was also graced by opportunity. The goal of this mission was to investigate the layers of rock exposed by the impact that formed the crater, as these layers could provide important information about the geologic history of Mars. It discovered that the crater contained some of the oldest rocks it encountered on Mars. The rocks were similar in composition to those found in other parts of the Meridiani Planum, suggesting they had formed under similar environmental conditions. A bright vein of mineral deposits composed primarily of gypsum was visible on the crater's walls, providing further evidence that water had once existed on the surface of Mars. The Burns Cliff is a prominent feature on the edge of the Endurance Crater on Mars, explored by NASA's Opportunity rover from 2004 to 2005. The cliff was named in honor of Roger Burns, a geologist who worked on several Mars missions. The Burns Cliff is particularly significant because it exposes many layers of rock, allowing scientists to study the geologic history of Mars. During its mission, Opportunity used its cameras and instruments to analyze the composition of the rocks on the cliff, which provided valuable insights into the planet's past. Opportunity also explored a location called Marathon Valley from 2015 to 2016. The valley is on the western rim of Endeavour Crater, a significant impact basin on Mars. The entrance to Marathon Valley was an important site for the Opportunity rover because it provided access to various geological features and rock formations. As the rover entered the valley, it observed a wide variety of rock types and structures, including light-toned rocks that appeared to have been altered by water and darker rocks that were rich in iron. As NASA plans new missions to Mars and prepares to send humans to the Red Planet, these images will continue to play an essential role in our understanding of this mysterious and intriguing planet. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. If yes, we're sure you would like this next video here. Thanks for watching.